Hello everyone. This is Sova TV. Currently, technology is progressing at a much faster rate than we feel. Among them, the most representative field can be seen as the communication field. Some countries are working on the development of 6G beyond 5G. There are not many companies that can supply 5G communication equipment. Huawei, Ericsson, Nokia and Samsung Electronic as we know it. Among them, Huawei of China is a company that is considered to be a state-owned company in China. In the trade and technology war between the United States and China, Huawei is facing a situation where companies have to worry about their survival. There is also a prospect that Huawei will close its doors in 2021. In particular, with regard to Huawei's 5G equipment in China, security issues regarding communication between government departments in the country, where they were installed have been continuously raised. It is also true that there have been several rumors that the radio wave of 5G harms the human body. For example, birds near 5G base stations were dead, and 5G radio waves cause cancer in humans. The impact of 5G and 6G on the human body and the environment is likely to continue to be a subject of debate among people until scientifically proven results are available. Today's video is not about the harmful effects of 5G. If you are watching this video to find out about the harmfulness, please quietly click the back button. The focus of this video today is the rapid change in the telecommunications market. In particular, it is about Samsung Electronics, one of representative Korean companies. On September 7, Samsung Electronics recorded a new history of communication equipment orders. Samsung Electronics announced that it has signed long-term supply contract for telecommunication network equipment worth $6.64 billion with Verizon of the United States, the world's number one telecommunications operator. With this contract, Samsung Electronics is going to supply and maintain network solutions including 5G mobile communication equipment to Verizon for five years. Verizon is the number one telecommunications operator in the United States with 183 million users in the United States. With this contract, Samsung Electronics has expanded its presence in the United States, which is the world's largest mobile communication market, and accounts for 20 to 25 percent of global base station investment. Against this backdrop, the trade and technology war between the US and China excludes Huawei, the world's number one telecommunications equipment maker, and Samsung Electronics is expected to continue to expand its position. The United States is a country with very high verification systems for the technology and security of telecommunications equipment. The fact that Samsung Electronics passed the verification related to the supply of communication equipment to the United States and signed a supply contract for communication equipment proves the high technology of Samsung Electronics. Until now, Samsung Electronics' main businesses have been semiconductors, mobile phones, and white home appliances. But with this contract, communication equipment has also been recognized as another major business. According to market research firm Deloro, the global telecommunication equipment market share was 32.6% for 5G Huawei, 24.5% for Ericsson, 18.3% for Nokia and 16.6% .6 for Samsung Electronics in the first quarter of 2020, with Samsung Electronics ranking fourth. In the field of communication equipment, Samsung Electronics participated as a latecomer, recording 3% in 2017 and 5% in 2018. It can be said that the 16.6% .6 market share in the first quarter of 2020 also achieved rapid development. Communication equipment is a special field in which compatibility with existing equipment must be considered, and changing the company once selected may cause problems in interoperability with existing equipment, and there is a considerable risk to the purchasing company. This contract, under such unfavorable conditions, will result in Samsung Electronics Telecom equipment sector becoming a new business as well as the expectation of mutual growth of related companies in Korea that supply parts to Samsung. Samsung Electronics has successfully commercialized 5G for the first time in the world in Korea and has signed supply contracts with Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and a cellular in the United States. Samsung Electronics was supplying 5G to Videotron Intellis in Canada and Spark in New Zealand. In March of this year, 5G commercial service began with KDDI in Japan, and Samsung Electronics was leading the commercialization of 5G in Korea, USA, and Japan. 
Samsung Electronics is leading the 5G communication equipment business. It recorded 3% market share three years ago, but this contract is expected to reach 20% market share. Even if Huawei is withdrawn from the communications equipment field due to US sanctions, Samsung Electronics competitors are leading communications equipment companies such as Ericsson and Nokia. Another market worth noting is India's 5G market. Currently, India has a very high antipathy against Chinese products due to the border dispute with China. India's economy is still at a low level, so no immediate purchase of 5G equipment will be made. However, it will be interesting to see how aggressively Samsung is responding to the rivalry between Ericsson and Nokia with Huawei in China's narrow position in India. It is competing with Ericsson and Nokia, which possess advanced technologies, but the prospect of Samsung Electronics communication equipment seems to be very bright with Huawei falling out. We looked at Samsung Electronics, a company that seems unrelated to us. But Samsung Electronics, a company that has a huge impact on how our future will change. That's it for today's video. If you are curious about the next video, press the button, subscribe, like, and alarm buttons from COVID-19. Always be careful for the safety of you, your family, and your neighbors.